Hey guys, I want to go ahead and work on some of these uh, polynomials uh, being raised to negative exponents. And now you notice here we only have one base, okay? And the way I remember it is there's a parenthesis here. And because the number is next to the parentheses, I'm just going to go ahead and multiply. So add the fourth power becomes x to the negative 8. And 5, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Now what about the 3? You, there's a couple of ways you can think about it, but pretend that the 3 has a power of 1, okay? So now 1 times negative 2 becomes what? 3 to the negative 2 power, okay? Now this, you just go ahead and simplify it. Uh, remember, negative exponents, we do the reciprocal. So, well, what do you mean? Well, that means pretend there's a 1 underneath here, and we're just going to do the reciprocal of everything because they're all negative so 1 over 3 squared x to the positive 8 now and y to the tenth now remember whenever you do the reciprocal these negative exponents become positive and finally my answer can be simplified further it's 1 ninth over I'm sorry 1 over 9 x to the eighth y to the tenth and that was, that's your answer all right, guys, let's do ahead, go ahead and do one more uh, example. It's a little bit more challenging. You notice we have two expressions here being multiplied. Because this guy has a negative 3, I'm going to go ahead and do this one first. And much the same as the other one, the first example, I'm going to go ahead and multiply because the negative 3 is, being, is right next to the parentheses here. So this becomes negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Now, for the one-third, because that is a constant, it's still like a base, I'm going to put a 1. And 1 times negative 3 becomes one-third. I'm just going to go ahead and put this in parentheses here, negative, third, negative 3 power. Okay? Now, from here, uh, I'm going to simplify this a little bit further. Remember, negative exponents, we do the reciprocal. So, one-third becomes 3 over 1. Now remember, whenever you do the reciprocal, this negative exponent becomes now a positive. m to the ninth, and the negative 6, I'm just going to leave it like that for right now. Because I have to multiply it with this other expression in the front. Now 3 cubed becomes 27, m to the ninth, and to the negative 6. Now remember, that's the first part. We're done with this guy. Now we have this first expression in the front, 2m cubed and to the negative second. Now, you notice this becomes a little bit different because now we have two bases. We have three m's here, we have nine m's there. Now, we're not gonna multiply, we're just gonna add them. Three and nine is gonna give us 12. Now, negative two and negative six. Well, negative two and negative six, that gives me a total of negative eight. And then two times 27 is 54. Okay, so I want you to notice the difference when we have one base, okay, we multiply the exponents. But now when we have two bases, what do we do? We add the exponents, okay? And hopefully that helps, guys.